there's the marbles on the outside there. Sato oh, gets he got loose. loose. Oh! Oh, no. Oh, my goodness. That is a horrifying ride for Dario Franchitti. Oh, man. That is an oval crash we've seen before, and we hate to see that kind of impact. Just Sato, uh, oh, boy. Well, Look what. at the debris go through. Oh, boy. And, and oh, fencing. Yeah, it does look like there might be some some debris into the grandstands as well. That is a violent, violent Four, turn number two. Ideally, I think you'd like to be low in particular going into... Oh, we have a huge crash here on the track right now. It looks like Mikhail Aloshin. I'll have to look involved. up who it is. I saw Aloshin earlier was running very close with Charlie Kimball and Charlie as well Scott. Sebastian Saavedra. This is it. One lap. Oh, oh there goes Ryan Hunter Ray and Ryan Briscoe. And Briscoe flies. Oh. Briscoe flips and flies. On the grass, the two Ryans came together. Oh, that looked horrible. And that's a very abrupt end. So what was a terrific day for Ryan Briscoe. He gives okay, both bye. thumbs up. Free, Scotty. Actually, you can see on the very underside what a ride that was. Remember we had last oh year with Buddy Rice getting airborne coming out of turn two when they touched wheels. And here's the situation. Briscoe going underneath. Oh Barron trying to word. come down on the racetrack. They both are going for the same piece of real estate. They talked about a wing adjustment. They vetoed that wing adjustment and a crash on the track. Huge crash on the front straightaway. Looks like Connor Daly and I believe Joseph Newgarden. Big hit coming into the tri oval. See Joseph Newgarden moving in the car. That is a big relief. That was in the kink coming to the start finish line. Be tight through there. Whoa! Really touch. Oh my God! Oh! That's Robert Wickens! And his That's teammate it. is into him as well, James Hinchcliffe. That was ugly. That was frightening. Big, big impact. Flag next time. It's going to be close as we look at the battle with uh, Catherine Lag Royal Service. Oh my goodness. Oh my me. god, massive accident. Oh my god, that is the motor, a car, a tub landed upside that down. That is the kink. I uh, don't know who that is. Well, of course, yellow to We don't know who that is right now, but okay? uh, that is the fastest part of the track. Down at uh, the, the exit of the kink there, turn 11. That is a very, very scary place indeed. And uh, that is, of course, going to bring out a full course caution. To make this all happen, he's got to be thinking inside his cockpit right now. Oh, big crash! Major, major incident. Kenny Breck getting way high up into the fence. Well, let's take a, oh, contact was made between Schrader and uh, Sarah Fisher back there. She just kind of ran over some stuff, but Schrader. And I would suspect you're gonna have to run, Gary, because he's gonna be in there fairly quickly. Brett picks up the lead. Oh, and Zanardi, oh, with a terrible crash. Well, he slowed so dramatically, slowed and Roberta didn't quite catch it quick enough, and uh, then he caught some other stuff. And that road just starts flipping it. You know, now this Air Force base, uh, home of the uh, demonstration team, the Air Force Thunderbirds, right across the street. <laughs> well, they probably said, go ahead, just go ahead and apply power and get her out of here. Yeah, that and oh, at the no, front of the battle, he's, he, touched, he touched into the wall. He touched Heavy Greg Moore. Crash. He touched Greg Moore right there. He just came down on him a little bit. Emerson Whoa. was really flying as he came through turn one. Devastating damage to that race car. And, of course, we go back under yellow.
Stewart is in the cockpit. He's strapped in, but he's moving. There's no fire on the car. Point. They are all in there fighting, and the fight is for third, though they begin to spring out a bit now. Yeah. Oh, oh, that was a little out. Gets into the side, and now an incredible accident. Both cars flipping. Another serious accident at the Michigan 500. Two cars together. Al Enter Jr. and Pitt Ganassi is what it appeared to be. I'll hesitate because there is no visibility now in the backstretch. Bobby. Well, that looked awfully bad. I uh, I hope that wasn't as serious as it looked like. Going to the help of one of the drivers. You saw it happen live right there. No movement at that car. On the inside, looks like he just lost aerodynamics and touched the back of Rick's car. There's no question about it. It looks like the air just let go. Look at the car totally broken up and Poncho's in nothing but a capsule with no engine. Now it turns All the way good. over. Woo! John Cock comes by. Frightening accident for uh, Pancho Carter. He was in a terrible accident. 